I wore out my shoes in that wrong way to run I blistered my skin working hard in the sun Supper's almost over and I done clean my plate Okay folks, Great Northern Prepper here and this is just a quick video on a few things you want to look at when you're looking uh, to buy or pick up some ammo cans. Uh, they have a lot of good uses for them. One, obviously being putting ammo in them. Uh, others, they can be used to store other things such as silver, cash, or whatever. Um, they're very handy, they're very rugged, and they're very good. Unfortunately, since they are made of metal, if they're not taken care of very well, they can end up uh, not doing a lot of good for you. So, here we look at, this is a 40 mic mic grenade launcher can and as you can see kind of down in there this is an older can that I found and uh, looked inside and she was pretty rusty inside there um, this doesn't necessarily make it not useful it just means you're gonna have to do some work but if you're going somewhere and you're buying one what you want to do is check these out and make sure that you're getting a good can and not paying for a project um, this is just your standard uh, 762 200 round ammo can What you're going to want to do is look around at the edges on the, on the uh, bottom of the can Make sure that the you know the welds are good that there's not any rusting or that there's not any you know anything peeling up or anything like that You'll also want to look around the handles There's a little bit of dirt around in there, but that's that ain't no big deal um, look around the edges here as well and on the hinge you'll want to check and make sure that this isn't rusted up or anything like that of course on the inside check on the inner um, seals along the bottom edge make sure that there there is no uh, rust or anything like that as well on the lid there is this rubber gasket seal and that actually will make it uh, technically airtight. A lot of times when you open up ammo cans, fresh ammo cans, you'll uh, detect a, a hint of, of uh, kind of like a weird stale air smell, and that's actually argon gas that uh, is put into the ammo can to keep the ammo uh, from being exposed to air. So you want to check these gaskets. You want to make sure that they're not... Uh, cracked, peeling, or anything like that. It's kind of hard to see um, with this camera. But these are actually pretty good. There is a little bit of stuff rubbing off on it, but that's actually just kind of a gunk that is formed on there. So actually what I will do is I will take something like 3-in-1 oil and I will put a little bit of that on a paper towel. And after I get the thing, before I put all my stuff in there, my ammo or uh, silver, other various things. I have a post coming out on how you can actually make a Faraday cage which is used to defend against EMPs or anything like that. Uh, you can also just use a regular old Q-tip and put a little 301 oil on there. And how you can actually use these ammo cans. It's not as simple as just putting your stuff inside the ammo can, but um, you actually have to ground it and everything like that. And this will help by oiling up around the seals and everything like that. It'll help keep the seals, uh, you know, good health. They'll last a lot longer. Um, then all you have to do is attach the dang thing on there. You also want to make sure that they seal up well and there should be a, a good click it should be there should be a little bit of force to it to actually get it down the handle should be working well a lot of times you can pick these things up for it all depends sometimes you know three bucks a pop sometimes you can get them in case slots um, they're a great great you know product to have around but you do want to make sure that you get something quality there's no like I said there's no sense in paying three bucks to you know spend two hours busting rust with a wire brush so this is an old one that I did have so that's why it, it's uh, going to be a project because I've already got it as you can see some of the seals here are starting to corrode around it as well I'll try to get that in the better light um, 
If you can kind of see, there's actually rust forming up around the seals, which means this single thing will be fine for storing stuff for short term, but as far as for long term use, not so much. But um, anyways, hope you uh, learned a few things and uh, have a little better luck than I do on, on your next ammo can project. So this is the Great Northern Prepper. Thanks for watching. Laid back one and I've been one so long. I ain't perfect, you can tell by my songs. Brothers, forgive me for all of my wrongs. Good Lord, he's calling and it's time to go.